Welcome to Summon Awesome Games, good looking people. I'm Rob and we're playing Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2. And do I have a side quest for you? Yes, I do. And Popcap have one as well. A, uh, a side quest that may take you many hours if you're dedicated and you're determined to find all these things. Or a side quest that could take you about 15 minutes or so. How long this video goes for? I don't know. Let's go, let's say 10. Let's just round it down to 10. Uh, it'll take you 10 minutes if you're lazy. And let me do all the work and show you the path. So we have a mysterious note. He's saying he's not home. He's found a fish head under some zombie treehouse. So, using the power of science, we're going to go to the zombie treehouse in the zombie parklands. And you're probably wondering, why are you playing a Super Brains? Super Brains is, uh, is a badass. He's like the greatest character in this game. I kid you not. Especially if you're someone like me, who likes exploring around and finding secrets and uncovering everything possible. He's a handy dude. He can jump really high and he has this kick that speeds him up a little bit, gives him a little bit of a boost every now and then. So zombie brains, super brains, electro brains, whoever you want to be, cosmic brains, be that dude because he's great. I mean, I'm saying you can go play whoever you want. I'm not going to stop you. But if you want to be, you know, a little bit more professional about this. You be super brains, and you'll find this dead fish under the treehouse. How easy was that? Now, if you're saying, hang on, slow down, man, how did I get there? Rewind the video. That's how videos work. It's old technology, just on a new platform. Now we're going down to the sewers, so we activated that one. We have to do this in a specific order. So you have to follow this, or you can solve it yourself. I go do that if you want, but do this in this order, and you'll be a happy camper. Uh, because if you do it out of order, it'll muck up. And I'm not going to lie, I fell in the acid here quite a few times. But we're just going to jump in here. Super Brains is a little too big for this section. A pea shooter or something is perfect, but Super Brains is a little big. There we go. Activate that one. That's the second one in our order. Like I said, you have to do these in order. Because if you don't, there is no point in doing this. Uh, we're going to activate ten of these things. Yes, ten. I found nine. I spent hours and hours searching this backyard and I found nine and uh, I had a belief you know with some games like well if it's all in this area they're all gonna be in this area and I called in a ringer Jed from Destructoid who helped me out with one that I am incredibly embarrassed to not have found he was missing one but the one that he was missing is understandable I'm t you know what I back him up I say that's fine man you can miss that one the one he showed me and told me about, I was just like, if I could face palm, it'd probably end the universe. So I'm not going to do it. Uh, so we're going to travel over here into the plant park here. Luckily we're super brain, so we can knock out any of these nerd burger weeds. And there's like a puffer fish here, chilling out in what's looking like fresh water. Right? He, should, he doesn't belong there. He's a puffer fish. Don't put him in fresh water. And that's not even the freshest water. That water's green, so not good for him. No wonder he's dying in there. So we got the puffer fish. Yay for us. Now after the puffer fish, we're going to go all the way back. Yes, this is a... Uh, don't worry, the reward is totally worth this. Uh, especially if you spend the hours finding these. Kudos to you, man. Way to go. Way to, way to do it. Way to, way to take the time and find these yourselves. How you're hearing me say this, I don't know. But still, good on you. Uh, let's go over here and find the next one. It's all the way in Zombieland in their uh, shopping district. Because, you know, that's, Dawn of the Dead is all about uh, consumerism, shopping. It's set in a shopping center. There's themes here, I'm sure of it. Uh, we go here to Arms for Marines, and we find a little dolphin gun here. Chilling out. Activate that. That's the next one. What's that, number four? We're almost halfway. And it's been a painless four and a half minutes. You're welcome, everybody. What's up, weeds? Don't mind me. I'm not a gardener, so I'm not going to tend to those guys. I'm going to leave them be. We are going to go and find... Uh, I think it's the clock net. I'm pretty sure that's where we're heading. That's the only one I can think of off the top of my head is out there, so... I'm going to go with clock. We're going to go find a clock. Trust in me and trust in my path. If you want to be Citron, Citron's quite quick. Citron's a roly-poly dude. He's a wonderful guy. But I recommend... Especially for... There's one that... There's a reason we're playing at Super Brains. There's one, specifically, that 
is uh, much easier with super brains. But now I'm questioning whether we're saving time. Here we go, we've got a clock here. Now I'm questioning if we're saving time running here. Because uh, super brains is great at getting, I think it's like number 8. I just want to say number 8. He's great at getting that one. But the time we save a Citron rolling around really quickly, we might actually gain from doing it later on. You'll see what I mean. I don't know. I'm, I'm lost in thought. I got time. I'm going to walk about. I got a long walk ahead of me. Because we are going to... What we got? We got the clock. Oh, we're going to a secret area now. Right? So, this is my secret area. I was tempted not to show you how to get in there. I was going to say go in this way. Because I didn't want to embarrass myself and die. I did, but I'm going to cut that out. So, don't worry about that. You're not going to see that. Uh, I'll show you how to get in there. This is a secret area. So you're getting, a, you're getting an extra double whammy here. Because it's necessary for the guide you're watching. Because if you didn't know this, you're not going to get the thing. So, you know. We're going to jump over here. With great skill. Don't fall in the acid. Water. Sewage water. Poopy water. Don't fall in that. I'm going to travel on this pipe here. And now he's going to do a little bit of a little jump. And a fly kick. Ta-da! We're on a pipe. Cruise on down this pipe. It's pretty easy. I found this with the scientist. It's pretty easy to get in here. Uh, here's our next one. This dead swordfish looking fella. Ta-da! He was number six. And now if you want to get out of here, if you the first time you've been in here and you're like, how do I get out of here? Shoot these little mushroom things. They'll play a big part with your golden gnome collection. You gotta shoot all these things. Golden gnomes appear. It's a wonderful system. Uh, so let's go get number seven. This is the one I did not find. And you're going to say, hey, but you found all these other ones, but you didn't find this one. And this was the one you spent probably the longest amount of time looking for. What? How? How? How are you making this guide for us? How? Now I wish I found all these myself, is what you're saying. If you couldn't find this, I could have done a better job. Uh, so you come down here into the portal. And over here is a shell. The worst part is I've seen this shell and never acknowledged that it could be one. Because I figured once we went in a portal, it would reset the things outside the portals, but it doesn't. I was totally off. And now I... Yeah, I could. this could have been done a very long time ago. Uh, but thank you, Jed, for that one. Now we're gonna go... We got... What was that? The number seven? Number eight. What am I talking about? Uh, so you can get this as Citron, for sure. You can roll in a ball, bounce on this pipe, and then bounce up here. But a lot of time I hit the roof and bounce back, as you can see, as Super Brain. You do this as a pea shooter as well. The uh, foot soldier. A lot of dudes. Uh, but I'm just going to jump over here. Like, uh, What have we got here? Electro Brains. He can, or Super Brains, whoever, can get up here really easy from many different directions. So, that's why I play as him. I like him. So that was number eight. Number eight is done. Number nine. This is the one. Uh that our friend did not find. This was my little contribution to him. This one I found, uh, I was playing as plants. This is the reason I found this one. I was playing as the plants, exploring around. I think I had the pea shooter just on the run, or it might've been Citron, on the run, rolling around, looking for things to activate on the ground. And of course, you know, they don't go through these portals because this is zombie side. And then I come across here and find this little barnacle and activation, ta-da, magic, donezo. I probably wouldn't have found that if I wasn't rolling around a citron. So, you know, citron, kudos to you, man. You are a cool dude. The citrusy flavor is delicious. Now we're going to go and get the last one. Now, I want you guys to set your expectations high for this reward. Um, once you see me get this, I recommend you go do this yourself and then get the reward without watching the rest of this video. So leave a like. Thank me for showing where these are. Uh, thank everyone involved. Thank your mothers for making you exist so you can do this. It's one of thing. Uh, here's the last guy. Our little octopus friend. We get a chest. Ta-da! Bom, bom, bom. Go find out what it is. I'm going to show you. If you want to stick around and find out what it is without going to find out what it is yourself. But let's do that now. Set your expectations for... High. Let's open it. It's gonna be good, right? I spent so many hours looking for these things, and what did I get? Ribbit. I got a hat. I got a very 
Nice frog hat. I hope you guys play as a scientist, because if you don't play as a scientist, that one's got to... That's got to disappoint, right? But look at you, Jiggles. You got some... Like a frog cake. Like a, like a frog fell on your head from a height, and you got purple guts stuck in your head. That took a long time to find. That took a very long time to find. Right, let me show you the easiest way to get into the sewer. Just so you don't get lost, because this is like in the background, uh, backyard battleground area. So there's a nice little sewer entrance here, which we use a lot. There's a, a back entrance that was a little bit closer, but this one's 